and um, here again just to explain something um, this is a video about how to put a time delay on a contactor coil or contactor or any equipment coming from the contactor being powered by the contactor um, what I have is my start and stop buttons my timer and my contactor itself now this is just a simple simple do up so do not mind how the wiring is done it is not completely good it may not be professional but it's completely it's, it's just completely working um, I just did this as a learn how to do it how to do it video um, basically my, what my timer does it gives a time delay for the contactor called the slam in so after turning off and turning off equipment you have to wait until the timer is ready to start the coil so the timer tells you when to push start when to push start to energize the to energize the, the equipment again um, as you see my light is on here that light indicates to you that it it's time it's safe to press start it's safe to energize my equipment um, so I'm just gonna energize it now just so you understand and that's it the coil is slammed in and my light is still on I took a source from my outlet there so it's a one it's a one it's a one pinnacle coil so I use a, a little outlet um, if I press the start button now the timer should reset itself everything in the control circuit should reset itself and I should wait at least 10 seconds before I could turn on press the start button again to energize my equipment my, my light is off as you see I'm pressing the start button and I can't do it now wait my light is back on my light indicates to me that it's safe to press the start button I can energize my equipment again and that's it is in so the time of it that's how you put a time that's how you put a, a, a delay on a, on a on a contactor coil or any equipment if you look on the side there you're gonna have all the instructions um i put it for 10 seconds as you see there are two the, the two block the two blocks there they're, they're right across they're right across and one is for the back and that's exactly what you see right there so this is this time is set on a delay of 10 seconds so if I press the stop button, the coil slams out, and I have to wait 10 seconds before I can press start again. You see? And my coil is in, so that's how you put a time delay. Remember, A1 is your is your coil itself, the timer coil, 15, 16, 18. 15 and 16 are normally closed, 15, 18 normally open. After a time delay, it opens 16, and it's going to close 18. A2 is a, is, is a zero volt, you're neutral. Keep that in mind. Let me do it one more time. I have to wait. As you see, I can't start it. The timer hasn't given me signal yet. Now, now the timer gives me signal. I can start it. And that's and that's a simple time delay, everybody. Hope you learn something.